All right, legends, congratulations to those who've made it this far. We're almost done with our tutorial series on jQuery for beginners. Now, we've covered a lot of ground, but one thing we haven't talked about yet is Ajax. Now, you may have heard it, maybe, but you've seen it, even though you didn't know it. So what does it stand for? Ajax stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML, but don't let that confuse you. It's really just JavaScript. And in short, what it does, it's JavaScript code that... It lets the page change really without reloading it. So let me give you guys a couple quick examples. So say you go to Google and you type in San Diego. And as, as you type, the page is changing. Well, this is JavaScript right now. So San Diego, or this is uh, Ajax right now. I'm sorry. San Diego dog toys. So you see the content on the page is changing, but it's not reloading. That's, that's, Pretty much what Ajax is in a nutshell. It's going to have things on the page of the change, whether we trigger them through hover or click on them or just like a Google search or something like this. Let me show you another example. So type in San Diego or your hometown. Somebody liked my Instagram picture. Type in your hometown and go to maps. So go ahead and click on this. Here's another example of Ajax. So let's zoom in a little bit. San Diego. So as we move the page right now, the Ajax is keeping up right now. So if you move it faster, it's going to have a harder time. See like that, keep throwing it around. That's Ajax. That's just JavaScript moving stuff around on the fly without the page reloading. So in short, Ajax is just JavaScript that keeps, that allows code to change on the page without it reloading. So the Google search, the Google maps are just a couple of examples. In the next video, we'll create our own example. All right, guys, good luck with this. I'll see you over there.